Yo, what's going on, guys? And yeah, we got ourselves Will Dawkins. Yep, Will Dawkins. Shout out the Washington Wizards. We got ourselves Travis Schlecht, and now we got ourselves Will Dawkins, who I have loved this hire. I made a video about it last week, and he's going to be second in command. Good friends with Michael Winger from their time back in Oklahoma City. And Dawkins has been basically with Oklahoma City since before when Michael got there and when Michael left Dawkins was, you know, was a can't was, a, you know, promoted within there. And he's been a guy who's been there for years now, putting in his work and he's known as a, a talent evaluator, a good guy to have in a front office. And he's going to basically be the number two in command. He's going to really, be his right hand man for Will Dawkins. Um, Will Dawkins will be Michael Winger's right hand man, and he's a good. You know, it seems like he's really, really good friends with Michael Winger, and there's going to be a good relationship and a good communication. And that's something that Will Dawkins is known for: is that his his communication skills are second to none. Same thing with Michael Winger, like a very good, good talking. This guy's been with the Thunder, you know, since the beginning of last decade since 09 when he started you know as a video coordinator and eventually becoming the vp of basketball operations in 20 in 2020 and this is a guy who basically every had a hand in selecting every draft pick in the last 10 years for this this thunders franchise from you know being a part of the getting themselves shea via trade in the paul george trade to going out there drafting guys from i mean andre roberson campaign Reggie Jackson, say what you want about them, but they were valuable for the teams at the team at points. Okay. And a plethora of other guys, you know, getting themselves like Jeremy Lamb and a bunch of key contributors. Like he's been able to build multiple types. And even with the Billy Donovan, when they have that whole Dennis Schroeder and Chris Paul, like he's been a key figure in those, you know, moves and transactions. So you're getting a guy who's experienced a rebuild, a championship team, and a team retooling, and a team that's trying to win again. So he's a guy who's seen basically in the last 14 years with Oklahoma, every facet of professional basketball you can see from the business side and the front side of basketball operations, which I think is something that's going to be very, very, very good in terms of how it'll be, I think, going to assist Michael Winger. And that's why Michael Winger brought him out here because he needed he needed someone that he could trust. He needed someone who, who had seen it all and had came from the ground up and which I enjoy seeing.